we're going to remove this airbag now. We've got the bolts out of there. We're going to lift it up and uh, try to go with the flow of the wiring. You can see there's a power cable right here. We're going to have to remove this green retainer. And these are all, it's all snap hook type. We'll disconnect it and we'll set it to the side. We waited uh, long enough for it to discharge. So now we'll remove this little green deal here. You can use a, if you want to use a little screwdriver, you can. It's no big deal. Just push that out of there. You can actually unhook this little clip right here and that'll give you more room to work as far as the uh, the, uh, the wire is concerned in getting it off of there rather than using my nails I'll use a, a little screwdriver disconnect it there that way I can get this little green piece out take that out to the other side then we can disconnect this the cable right here. Just like that. There's your airbag. It's what you don't want to blow up in your face unless you need it to save your life. Set it aside. Now you're looking at what we really have to deal with taking this steering wheel off by taking this nut off we're going to use a steering wheel puller we're going to pull the steering wheel there's a clock spring uh, that is a part of the airbag restraint system that actually gives you power to the airbag that's located behind it. it's held on with a retainer we'll take that off and then that'll explode expose the turn signal uh, device Okay, we'll go from there. Before that, there's a pressure plate that's got to come off, so stand by.